Hello, I'm Drunkard Ninja, and this is my walkthrough for Valkyria Chronicles, Episode 7, The Battle of Barius. Uh, this mission is a little unique in that there's uh, just one objective, which is to take out this enemy boss tank uh, that's only vulnerable at certain points of the game. Um, and I'll go over that as we go through the map. So this is the enemy tank. Uh, what it is is there's six machine guns on it that you'll want to take out uh, as the level progresses to avoid taking damage and then um, at certain points in the game uh, the main cannon of this tank will shoot uh, ruined chunks of wall that you'll knock over as you progress which will be this one this one and this one and it shoots its main cannon on turns three well, it'll be your turn three, your turn six, and your turn uh, nine. Uh, and each time it shoots its cannon, its radiators become visible, which are located here, here, and here, and are accessible uh, from ladders on the side of the tank. Uh, so pretty much all we're going to do is the, the tank is set on a, on a set path. So the enemy's first move, it'll get itself here second move it will move to this camp third move it will shoot this wall but not move anytime the tank shoots it doesn't move uh, so once it sh fires its weapon uh, then you'll run out take one of the radiators out uh, you'll have to use a unit with a grenade uh, climb the ladder and huck it in uh, then the next move it will move here and I can't remember I think then it shoots this wall and then it moves here 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 and then shoots this wall and that's on the enemy's eighth turn so uh, we'll be moving on the ninth turn that's the basic setup of the enemy's movements there they also have these guys here uh, what they're gonna do is they're just gonna try and capture this base by taking this path here generally um, doesn't really matter because we're not going to be using it and they don't call reinforcements um, but the premise that we're going to use is um, you get nine unit placements we're only going to use four uh, three of the placements you have here in this trench we're going to put a scout I'm going to use Alicia for the movement and Rosie a shock trooper again for the movement and then you you have two more positions you can put troops here but don't need to use them uh, when the tank hits these camps it actually destroys the camps anyways so they're kind of pointless and then you also get to place three units in this trench here we're going to use Largo because uh, we need a Lancer to take out these guns and then we're going to have an engineer to resupply them as Lancers only have a limit of three shots uh, in total um, each of these guns have 1200 health at this point all of my units are level 8 and so and the with the weapons my lancers have they only do 550 damage so it takes three shots to kill one of these guns unless you use the damage boost order uh, that raises your damage to 600 and makes it so that only two shots are required for taking out each of these six guns uh, you want to take them all out um, not that they get you any more experience or anything but just so they're out of the way and makes movement in general easier uh, so for our first round we're gonna move our tank forward and it'll get to about here on our first move and then our second move get to about here the goal is by the end of our second turn to have them up here uh, just out of the way of the tank is pretty much the goal um, once that's done uh, we're going to use our shock trooper run them up this hill here to take out this sniper and then retreat them back to take cover again point in this direction to shoot at any of these units that make their way down with the remainder of our movement uh, we're going to damage boost the Lancer and that should give us three shots and hopefully we'll take out this front gun and get this gun down to half health uh, as I said the enemy will then move he'll get here and um, on the second turn we'll use the tank to move up here and then as I said end about here shooting at these walls to knock them down along the way if we don't knock them down the the Batamus will not fire so they do need to be knocked down prior uh, to the Batamus reaching them um, at that point 
Um, same thing. We're just going to use the Lancer, take out as many guns as we can, end our second turn. Uh, on the enemy's second turn, it will destroy this camp. There'll be a little video. I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting because uh, this video will be like an hour, hour and a half if I don't cut the enemy's movements and the, all the repetitive stuff I'm going to be doing. So, uh, But I'll piece it together enough to so you can tell what's going on. Uh, so the enemy will move the tank here, take some shots at our troops if it can see them, and then end its turn. Um, again, for our third turn, we're just going to use the Lancer and the Engineer to take as many of these guns as we can. Uh, maybe take out some of these troops with our Shock Trooper, depending on their placement. Um, and then on the third round, uh, the Batamus will fire its main cannon at this ruined section of wall and that will bring its radiators uh, visible. It's got three of them, one here, one here, and one here, and they're all accessible by ladders on the sides and back of the Batamus. Uh, the only way to uh, hurt these radiators is you have to get a unit to climb that ladder and throw a grenade in there, which is why we have our scout. Uh, so once one of the radiators or once the Batamus fires its cannon and the radiators are available, uh, we'll take the safest option at this point, depending on how many of the guns are out of the way, um, and get our scout to huck a grenade in one of them. Now, I recommend leaving this one alone, uh, because on the ninth and final round, um, it's the easiest one to get to, so I recommend going after these two first. Um, for turns four, five, and six, it's kind of the same thing. Eventually it'll shoot this wall. Uh, once you take out the second radiator, which will be this one and this one, um, reinforcements will arrive. This is where the tank will be, and these are the reinforcements. So seven reinforcements arrive, uh, two scouts, one scout ace, this guy, two shock troopers, a lancer, and Selvaria. Now Selvaria is um, impenetrable, you cannot hurt her, but she can do a lot of damage to your units. So you pretty much just want to avoid her, and as I mentioned earlier, at this point our tank's going to be up in this area. Uh, she will ignore the tank, so don't worry about her. Her, her goal is literally to protect uh, Maximilian, so all she's going to do is run this way and just protect him from any units trying to get near the tank. Uh, once the reinforcements arrive, we'll use the tank to mortar these guys and just take them out. And literally, once you take out the second radiator, it's a lot of dead time until the ninth round. Uh, just a little bit of preparation at that point. Uh, once it fires its gun at this section of wall on the ninth, on it'll be the enemy's eighth round, but when you get to move, it'll be the ninth. Um, we we'll use a scout to take out the final radiator. It, the tank will be positioned about here. We'll take out that third radiator, and then at that point, you have to use lancers to shoot it, and it takes between 10 and 13 shots to kill it. So in preparation for that, somewhere between rounds 6 and 7, we're going to uh, uh, request reinforcements of three lancers and have them ready to go in this area and have an engineer to reload them as uh, three Lancers only have nine shots, and you, like I mentioned, you need at least ten. So our very last round will literally be throw a grenade and then just pound away at it with Lancers until the mission's over. Uh, doing this, we will complete the map in uh, nine rounds, which is the requirement to get the ace or the A ranking, and then we'll also pick up uh, the ace weapon from uh, Kaz. Canazar the Lion, however you say that, uh, which is the ZM2G, uh, ZMMP2G, whatever it's called. It's a, it's a scout weapon. It does more damage than yours, but it's got about half the range, so it's kind of useless. But you will need it if you're going for 100% completion. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a lot of cutting on the actual gameplay because, again, it takes like 30, 40 minutes just to beat it because of the amount of turns it is required. So let's jump to that right now. Alright, so this is the actual mission. Um, for the first two moves, I'm just going to move the tank forward. Go. Uh, gotta love nature. Here we go! 
All right. For the next move, I'm going to do the damage boost order on my Lancer. Now, in between each move, I recommend saving your game progress on a separate file because um, your Lancers are going to be very inaccurate and you kind of want to get these guns out as quickly as possible. So every time you hit a, one of the guns, I recommend saving before taking your next shot just to save yourself time. Been waiting here. Boom! Just watch this. Just watch this. Okay, after you take your third I'm shot, from Follow me. bring your Lancer back to your engineer. So that when you reload them, the engineer doesn't have to move far because they're going to get doesn't shot at. Alright, for my final move, I'm going to use my shock trooper to take out this sniper. And then have him run back to this trench and take up a defensive position looking up this, this uh, ramp that I'm going to use. Go down! Man down, everybody be careful. Please stop that tank from breaking. And then we'll end our phase. Uh, I'm going to cut out most of the enemy's movement and just do a rehash after because it takes forever for them to do everything. All right, as you can see on the enemy's first move, the tank moved forward, took some pot shots at my troops. And all the troops here made their way towards this second base. Uh, the scout got close enough I was able to kill him. Uh, but the rest of them aren't really a threat. So, Again, I'm going to use two moves to move the tank and take out these walls along the way. Here we go! For my second move, I'm actually not going to hit the wall. I'll do that later. I'm going to use a mortar round to take out these guys. Entering combat. Where's the exhaust? All right, with most of the troops out of the way, I'm going to use the rest of my turns to take out these guns. Remember to use your damage boost uh, before using your Lancer. Just watch this. At this point, my Lancer's out of round, so I'm going to use the Engineer to reload them and then take two more shots at the gun on this side. I'll try my best. <clears throat> Boom. Just watch this. Done. With three of the guns gone, I'm just going to end this phase, and again, I'll cut to, and just do a recap of the enemy's movements. All right, now it's the start of the third turn. Um, during the enemy's movements, this Lancer used all three shots to get my Edelweiss down to about half health, and the Batimus moved forward to take out the enemy camp. Uh, and destroying it. There's a little video that plays once that happens. Um, same strategy, I'm just going to use my Lancer to take out more of the guns. Um, on the enemy's next turn, it's going to shoot at this wall, and that'll give us our first opening to take out one of the radiators. So I want to get this back gun out so my scout can sneak around. As always, be sure to remember to use your damage boost.
And this time I'm going to do a defense boost on my Lancer because if he dies, this whole mission's kind of foobar at that point. Been waiting here. Been waiting here. You're done. Man down. Everybody be careful. With that gun out of the way, I can move around more freely, and I'm going to use the remainder of my movement to take out this back gun on this side. But I need my engineer first because my lancer's out of shots. I'll try my best. And since I've got the movement, I'm also going to use the engineer to take out this Lancer. I'm on a roll. And leave her over by the tank. We shouldn't need her to reload the Lancer anymore. Because uh, it'll be two shots to take out that one and two shots to take out that one. And we'll get a new round. Um on the next turn. So to finish off the turn we're just going to take three more shots at these guns and then just end our turn early. Just watch this. Boom. Just watch this. Just watch this. You're done. And take cover just to avoid getting let them go. any take damage them taken to him for the last shot we need. Okay, you can either end your turn now early. Or I'm just going to use my engineer to repair my tank since he's so damaged. I'll try my best. Wow, now it won't hurt when I trip. Thank you. This place is insane. Fall back. And that's the end of the third turn. Again, I'm going to cut the enemy's movements out and just do a recap. For the enemy's third turn, the Batamus didn't move at all. It just shoots at this wall and there's a video. So at this point you can see these white bits. Those are the radiators. So we're going to first use our scout to damage one of those. Moving out. Enemy that sighted. Is coming this way. I recommend leaving the one on the right uh, because to take out the third one, Silvaria is going to be here and she stays on the left side of the tank. So it's easier to get to it uh, later on in the match. So I'd either go for this one or the one on the left. Just switch to your grenade and throw it in. And you'll see the other two disappear after you take out the one. After the radiator is destroyed, there's a little video about reinforcements coming. Uh, just move your scout to cover so that you can use them uh, for the second radiator. Ready yourselves for the next. All right, for the next turn. Just gonna use our lancer to finish off the gun. Watch this. I'm just gonna use the retreat order. So at this point, there's really nothing for us to do till the tank 
moves again and shoots at this wall. So we're, I'm just going to set up a little bit for later in the game. I want the tank a little further forward. Combat. And I also need to take out that other wall for the ninth round. And I'm moving the tank forward because I want to be in range of the enemy reinforcements. And we don't really have to worry about Silvaria because she won't mess with the tank. But just to prepare, I'm going to get my three Lancers requested. And since I've got two movement, I'm just going to do the defend all just so no one dies. And that ends the fourth round. All right, all the enemy did was move forward a bit. And my reinforcements arrived. There's really nothing for me to do. So I'm just going to end my turn uh, after I recall Rosie and then request her reinforcement to keep my command points up. I've never really done retreat before in one of these videos. If, when you retreat a unit, you can select them again. They won't show up this round, they'll show up next round, but rather than when a unit falls, you can't request them right away. You have to wait till the next turn to even request them. Just some FYI. I'm just going to end turn five. All right, for the enemy's turn five, all it did was take out that section of ruined wall, so you can see the radiators are now available uh, so f and since I have pretty much full points um, you really don't need them all because not much is going to happen I'm just going to use the scout to take out the radiator on this side and then the enemy troops will show up I'll cut that part of the video because it's long um, and then I'll just use the tank to mortar them twice All right, so the backup troops are arrived. Now I'm just going to move my scout into position for the third grenade, which is, I just want her behind this wall over here. Please be sure to check your ammunition. That way she doesn't get shot by Selvaria. All right. So now I'm just going to use the Edelweiss and mortar these guys twice. Here we go. Move a little closer for the second that shot. As you can see, none of them do damage to the tank, so. The Lancer will if he gets close, but that's it. Here we go. I'm just getting in my turn because they're not going to do enough damage to the Edelweiss to hurt it. And you can always use your engineer to come repair it after their turn is over. So Vary is going to run over this direction anyways and ignore the tank. Alright, so the remaining troops just ran this way and got taken out by my tank's machine gun. And Silvaria ran right by and just went to join the tank. So there's really nothing for me to do until the ninth round. Um, I'm going to move my three Lancers forward, just so they're closer. They're not going to get shot by anyone, especially if we stick to this side. Uh, but we basically have to wait till round nine for the tank to get up and shoot this section of wall. Been waiting here. For you, sure. Cool. Just ro Roger. 
And for S and G's, I'm just gonna shoot this wall down for some cover on these lancers. Take this. <clears throat> now there's no possible way for anyone to shoot them. All right, and as I said, it's just a waiting game till we can hit that final radiator on turn nine. So I'm, again, I'm just gonna end my turn. All right, so all that happened is the Batamus moved forward and destroyed this base, and Selvaria took up position next to it. Again, nothing to do till they shoot this wall on their round, so I'm just going to end it for turn 8 and do absolutely nothing. All right, on the enemy's move, all they did was destroy that wall, so now the radiator's available. So we're going to use our scout to take that out. And since we left the one on this side, she's not going to get shot at all. Alright, after this cutscene, you just want to retreat your scout. Technically, you don't even need to do that, but might as well. All right, now we just have to shoot at it with our lancers. Uh, be sure to pick one and just give them the demolition boost because you got plenty of uh, uh, command points and that just helps you do an extra 50 damage a shot. Unfortunately, you can only cast it on one. Uh, I'm just going to use Jan because he's got an extra shot thing. So by giving it to him, I might get, you know, a fourth shot out of him. You got it, hon. But you really don't have to move all that close because you just have to hit it. Yeah. And it doesn't matter where, it all does the same amount of damage. Die for me, sweetie. This is shot three. Hit, please. Well, Jan's out of shot, so I'm gonna switch to Nils. Roger. This is shot five. This is shot six. Now Nils is also out of shot, so I'm switching to Largo. This is shot seven. This is shot eight. This is shot nine. Boom. After nine shots, all my lancers are out of ammo, so I have to move my engineer to reload them. I'll try my best. At this point, the Batamus is down to one shot left. You got it, hon. I'm going to choose Jan just to make sure it goes down in the tenth shot. Hit, please. And mission accomplished. I skipped the outro video, went straight to their battle report. But as you can see, by doing it in nine moves, you get the A ranking. Uh, that's You have to do it in nine in order to get the A. If you go to ten, you get the B rank. Uh, and then by killing the ace, we get the GM car 2G out of it. And that is how you beat uh, Chapter 7, the Battle of Barius.